Hi, I'm Bob Flisser, author of Learn Excel 2016 Formulas and Functions in 90 Minutes, and I want to show you how you could use Excel to clean up an email list that's maybe gotten a little bit out of hand. And you could use this technique in any version of Excel, doesn't have to be the 2016 version. First, let's take a look at our email list. Now I have this email list open up in my text editor, and you might have your list in any number of different ways, any number of different places, but wherever you have it, whatever program you have it in, maybe it's an emailer or who knows what, you can always get it into a text format, and this is a CSV file. You can see up here on the top in the title bar, this is called emails.csv. CSV simply means comma-separated values, and you can see up here, row one, we have the titles. We have the titles of the columns, that is. We have first name, comma, last name, comma, email, and then each one you can see we have first name, comma, last name, comma, and then the email address, and this is all the way going down. Now, you might have your list in TXT format. It might be in tab-separated values instead of comma-separated values but it all works pretty much the same. Let's take a look at what's going wrong with this particular list. Now you see here rows 6, 7, and 8, we have the same person duplicated three times, or write once and then duplicated two more. It's the same first name, same last name, same email address, so you know this is the same person, and you only want them in once. You want to remove two of them. If you take a look down here on... 19 and 20, same thing. Same first name, same last name, same email address. So you only want one of those instead of two of those. But if we go down here a little bit more and you see rows 26, 27, and 28, same first name, same last name, but different email addresses. So you don't want to remove any of those because these are just three different people with the same name. And the same down here, if you see rows 42 and 43, again, first name and last name are the same, two different email addresses, so those are two different people. You don't want to delete either of them. And I'll scroll down to the bottom, and you can see here, again, same first name, same last name, same email address, so you want to remove one of those. So what we want to do is get this list into Excel, and there's two ways of doing it. One way is you can copy and paste. So I'm going to press Control A. If you're on the Mac, you could press Command A, and now just copy. I'll press Control C, or if you're on the Mac, you could press Command C. Now let's go into Excel. So here I am in a plain, empty, brand new workbook in Excel, and I'm going to paste. So in Windows, press Control V, or on the Mac, press Command V. Looks kind of smushed, but if you widen up the columns, you can see that everything is all in the same cell. So what we want to do is we want to split this one column A into column A, B, and C. But I'm also going to show you a way that you can get this list into Excel without having to go through this, but I think it'll help to see both ways. So I'm just going to click here on the header for column A, and you can see right now the mouse pointer, see the juggling around, that's that downward pointing arrow. So I'm going to click that, and then on the ribbon bar, I'm going to go to the Data tab, and over here where it says Text to Columns, I'll click that. And then you see in the wizard, it says my list is delimited. Click Next. Not delimited with tabs, so I'm going to deselect that. I will select Comma, and now you can see it's split out. Click Next. And here I have some options. Do I want to import different columns in different ways? Do I want to eliminate anything? I don't need any of that. I'm just going to click Finish. And now you can see here can make these columns better width. I'll just double click there. So now I have these separated into three different columns and I can go to work. Okay, I'm going to close this without saving it and then show you how you could avoid all of this mess. So I'm just going to press Control W or on the Mac, press Command W. Do I want to save it? No, I don't want to save it. Now let's go and open it like it's a regular file. So you could press Control o in Windows or Command-O on the Mac, or you could go to your File tab and Open. Now in my File Open dialog box, I can see there's this CSV file. Now, you might not see that right off the bat. See down over here in the lower right corner? Usually this is set to Excel files. So when you go to Open, you might not see anything where you expect to see it. 
So you might need to click that and choose text files and then see the CSV. So I'll double click it and now it opens up automatically in three columns. I don't have to go and use that text to columns feature. Now we could get to the business of removing the duplicates that we want to remove and not removing the duplicates that we don't want to remove. And the secret is looking at all three values, the first name, the last name, and the email address. So I'm still here on the data tab and just to the right of that text to columns button, we have removed duplicates. So I'll click that. And this is telling me, how do we define what a duplicate is? Now, right now, this is just not really giving me good information. This is telling me column A, B, and C. But you see over here, it says my data has headers. You might need to click that. Excel will do a better job of picking up headers if the headers are formatted. So let's say if I had taken these and given them, made them, let's say, bold and given them a background color or something, Excel probably would have recognized that they were headers. So not a big deal just to click that button. Now, because we have first names and last names and emails, these are all three checked. So the fact that I have all three of these checked means that Excel will have to get a match in all three of these columns to decide to determine that these are duplicates. So let's say, for example, if I deselect email and I have Excel look only at first name and last name, then it's going to eliminate some records that I don't want it to eliminate. Now, in this case, in this particular list, I could have it look just at email and not care about first name and last name because I want all of the email addresses to be unique. But there might be situations when you want to make sure that Excel looks at all of the cells in a row to match all of them. So now all I have to do is click OK. And this tells me, hey, there are four duplicates that were found and removed. So let's click OK and see what's going on. So we can see that we have just one Amy. We have just one Perry, right? Those, we had duplicates of those. Let's scroll down a little bit. Now, remember Samantha Carter, we had three duplicates and we still, well, they're not really duplicates. We had three Samantha Carters, but Excel left them alone because the email addresses are different. And if we scroll down again, remember we had two Sharon Valeri's, and again, the email addresses are different, so we still have them. Scroll down, and we had two Callies, and again, because they were exactly identical, now we have only one of them. Now, how do we get this list, how do we get this cleaned up list back into your email program? The easiest way is if you're still working with the CSV, you can simply save. Just click the Save button or press Control S or Command S. Let's say you need to get this out somewhere else and you want to create your own comma-separated values file. Excel will let you do that simply by saving. So let's do a Save As. Now in Windows, you could press the F12 key for Save As. Now on the Mac, depending on which keyboard you have, you might also press just the F12 key or probably press Function key and then F12. But let's just do it from the menu here, from the, from the ribbon bar. I'll go to the File tab. I'll choose Save As. And it's saying, OK, here's the file name. I want to save it as CSV. I'm going to save it in the same folder, or I could put it in a different folder. Maybe I want to give it a different name, so I'll call this Emails-Cleaned, and then save it. And this is going to give me a warning that there's any formatting, the formatting will get removed because it's a text file, but that's okay. Click yes. Now let's take a look at this in the text editor. So I'll just press control O and there's the emails cleaned. Double click and you can see, yes indeed, no smoke and mirrors. This is the actual file. And you can see all the cleaning and not cleaning and all that is done. So that's how you could use Microsoft Excel to clean up an email list that's gotten a little bit out of hand.